In this video, we're going to see how to transfer inventory between our different warehouses. It's also worth having a look at some of our other videos in the multi-warehouse series, an introduction to using multiple warehouses, working with third-party logistics, and working with Amazon FBA. So we have a situation where we have inventory, this red bubble hat, spread across two different warehouses. We've got some in the second warehouse and some in the main warehouse. This is the inventory detail report where you can see exactly how many of each item you have in each of your warehouses, when it was received, the purchase order number and its exact location within the warehouse. So we've got five in stock of the red bubble hat in the second warehouse, of which four are allocated, which only leaves one on hand. What we'd like to do is we'd like to transfer them from the second warehouse into the main warehouse. The reason I've got four allocated here is to show you that you can only transfer on hand inventory because these four might be reserved on a sales order or perhaps there's a shipment that's already in progress somewhere in the warehouse. To create a new inventory transfer, go to Products, Warehouse and then Inventory Transfers. This takes you to the screen where you can see here I've got a couple of existing transfers from one warehouse to another. Let's create a new transfer by hitting the green button. We choose the warehouse we're transferring inventory from and to. It's important to give it a reference because that's one of the only ways you can differentiate between your inventory transfers. And then save. This takes you to an empty transfer where you want to add products. On the left hand side in this green box we can either scan the product barcode, search for the product or directly type the product ID if we know it. If you want to add lots of items at once you can actually use the batch add items screen which is just like the screen you use when adding items to your sales and purchase orders. I'm just going to search for the product, it's that red bubble hat, select that, enter the quantity and then add the item. On the right hand side you'll see this item added to the transfer. We can also see how many we've got on hand in this warehouse. So even though we had five in stock, those four allocated means that there's only one that's available to transfer. Once we've added all the items we need, on the left hand side we click process this transfer. On this screen we confirm that we do actually have enough on hand to make the transfer. So we enter the quantity we want to transfer in the right hand column. When everything's been entered OK, it shows zero left. We choose a shipping method for the goods outlet that's about to be created and then click process. This has created what we call a transfer note or a goods note. And it's just like a goods note for a sales order except there's no customer information. So if I print this, you'll see a familiar screen that looks just like the regular shipment which you print, pick, pack and ship. Until you actually ship the stock transfer, the items will still be in the warehouse. They'll be allocated to the stock transfer as soon as you process it, so you won't be able to sell them to anyone else. Your warehouse team will process this transfer and at the end of the day, they'll ship it. That removes the inventory and places it into transit. And you can see here from the inventory detail report that where we had five in stock in the second warehouse, we now only have four. If I go to the inventory and transit report, which is at products, warehouse, inventory and transit, you can see the red bubble hat that's waiting to come in. When the goods arrive in the destination warehouse, you have to come to this screen, show the filter, filter by your warehouse, the destination warehouse, and then select all the items you want to release into stock. So let's click Release Items. If you've got multi-concurrent location management turned on, this is where you actually have to specify a location within the warehouse for each line you're releasing. If you have standard location management, the product is placed into the product's default location and if you don't have any location management turned on, everything goes into your warehouse default location. So let's receive the goods, which clears our inventory in transit. And then when we go back to the inventory detail report, you can now see we've got an extra line in the main warehouse for the red bobble hat. So just to recap, first of all you create a new inventory transfer then you add items to the transfer, you then process the transfer which creates a transfer note, you pick, pack and ship the transfer note and then finally receive goods into your warehouse from your stock in transit report. When you're transferring inventory between warehouses, first in first out inventory principles are maintained. 
So the first batch received into your business is still the first batch received even if it's transferred between warehouses and that will be the next item that's allocated as cost of sale when you ship the next goods out note. And that takes us to the end of the video where we see how to transfer inventory between different warehouses.